Right. Okay, we are awaiting our commercial, uh, our voiceover artist and uh, screenplay writer extraordinaire, uh, William H. Morrow III. But um, I know I had, um, we have, we're going to have more structure with this week's uh, show in terms of um, Sir William because we have some topics that that we covered uh, this past week oh god can't win man can't win. Either it's somebody busting my balls like Esmeralda, or it's the dog, or... Uh, Guys, by, by the way, are you still mad at Esmeralda? Yes. Okay. Yes, I told her because, last night because I, I, explained, I explained to her just how important this show is. Alright? This is not, this is not playtime on the internet. This is not a chat room. This is not Facebook. This is, this is a show with a very serious agenda that she obviously does not take seriously. And she knew that. You know? And I'm not, I'm not one that is into the, the brat versus the receiver of the brattiness. I'm not into that. I get very upset, especially when I'm doing something that's extremely important and somebody trivializes or undermines it like she did that time. I, it took me a considerable amount of extra time to edit that, the video, to edit the part out where she called. It really gives me extra work. When I don't have anything to really, when I, when I have nothing to remove from the sh Hello there. Well, how are you? Good, good, Sir William. Very good. Uh, before we begin, oh, by the way, how are you feeling, sir? Tired. My allergies are kicking me big time. Uh, I, I hope you tried that Allegra I gave you. No, not yet. I want to wait till it gets real bad. When it gets real bad? What, what, are, you, what are you waiting for? Uh, 2014? And why am I hearing you pretty well? Much better than this. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. I, well, I'm speaking loud, but uh, again, back to the Allegra. It's only a dollar for five pills. You might as well take it. That's right. I'm sure that gets more you know, yeah, I mean, uh, why suffer if you could take an Allegra? <laughs> one, one pill is good for the whole day. All right. I know you have something to say about the newsletter. That the the the, the very backbone of our organization is this newsletter. 1977 was founded by Reverend Dr. William J. Eisman. Well, you know that very well. The best way to join the organization is to go to the www.newslettercensored.com to get your free annual subscription with your gift. To support this work, we're living in end times. So you need newsletter censored. Yes, this is the very best way to join our organization. You have to speak louder, William. I'm having a hard time hearing you. No, no pun intended. Wow, it's weird. It's like it's reversed. Yeah, it's reversed now. Yeah, just uh, you know, for for our listening audience, just you know, just speak louder. All right, we're gonna we're gonna go over the topics that you and I. Well, you know what? It's not to interrupt you, but what's odd is you are clear as a bell for the first time. Wonderful. Strange, Wonderful. Wonderful. You're clear, but now I'm not. That's odd. No, yeah, you're okay. And and he's, okay. he's, he's about the same volume. You're about the same volume, but just try to speak louder. All right. Pins and needles, needles and pins. It's a happy man who grits. The searchers. Now, why am I mad? The searchers. What are you talking about? It's the needles honeymoon. and pins. The honeymooners. The well, searchers saying needles and pins. Who is the searchers? A group from uh, England. Oh, from the 60s. Yeah. Needles and pins. Yeah. The Searchers. So one of the biggest songs in history. Yeah. The Searchers. Okay, okay. The British Invasion. Yeah, I remember now. You 
Uh, okay, uh, I, William, I am going to go over the topics that we discussed this past week. Okay, number one, um, we were talking about uh, San Francisco General Hospital, a patient found dead 17 days later uh, in, for an, uh, in for a UTI. Please explain that situation. Well, she disappeared uh, from her room. Uh, where is your security? Where are your film, your cameras, whatever. A person that disappears in for an hour or two, don't you scour the entire complex? You don't check every escape. And she, for 17 days, this poor lady sat or laid there on a fire escape type of stairwell, as they call it, either dead or dying. Mm. Yeah. Really, it's there's. I don't know what to say even about it. And most of the people that know some of it, it doesn't make sense. It's it's the same. Seventeen days, and she went in for a UTI, a urinary tract infection. Hmm. And I think I forget what they said. She was delirious or whatever. Uh, and if you are, you are to be. Monitor. Somebody must sit with you at all times. Why was she alone and allowed to wander out on her own? This is odd. It's sad. It's sick. Best way to put it, it's stupid. And I, best way to put it is lawsuit. Get them for this. Yeah, there seems to be a a, a lack of competency t in the in America today with the. Um with businesses, you know, incompetent employees, where were the security? Exactly. Their biggest argument is this is, it was a relatively unused stairwell. I don't think that makes much of an argument. <clears throat> then why did you build it? Right. And still if it's not used, why not walk You can't get out. Right. And why did your security, which is supposedly so good, right. search it? You know, it's funny how they pass the buck. Well, it's that. It's a, it's, we don't use the stairwell at all. We don't do that. Stop it. You blow it, you cost someone their life. There's uh, no argument here. Right. All right, next. I'm sorry. Go on. But it, it really does anger you when you hear things like that. Yes. Things that don't have to happen. That's what makes you angry. It's, it's unnecessary to have these That's things. That's right. This lady was a very, still young, very beautiful family, obviously. Uh, it's look at the way it ended. It's sick. You know, there's 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 so many there's thousands of cases of even infect uh, hospital induced infections with patients where patients, you know, uh, uh, get sick by just being in a hospital. Well, when you're sick, and I die. Remember when my father was mentioned in the hospital, his doctor told me, "Want to get him home, get him home fast. The last place we want your dad is in this hospital." Hmm. Uh, Right, exactly. And had great doctors, and they said we want them out of here quick. This is not the best place to be. Also, so, there's another example. Number two, as we discussed this week, Jimmy, doctors miss diagnoses or mistakes. Oh, yes. Yeah. It cause more deaths annually. Conservative than figure 650,000. In the entire United States. Really? That's, that's the conservative. Really it's more like eight or nine. What it really sounds like is you get sick, you go to a hospital, you're playing Russian roulette, per se. Mm-hmm. Chance. True. You don't know what will happen. You've heard, I'm sure both of you and many others out there listening have heard many stories. People are going to provide little things and die. Yeah, but cutting off the, the wrong leg. This should not happen. Cutting off the wrong leg, yeah. <laughs> cutting off the wrong leg. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, operating on the wrong side of the brain. <laughs> I mean, they pop. You, I don't know what it is. You would, you hey Bill, you you would think, you would think since the fees are so high, and and they're ripping off the insurance companies and Medicare, you would think they would be perfectly competent. Well, I don't know what people say on this. I'm not. No, there is no well. They are ripping off Medicare and the insurance companies. The old stories were. Damn capitalist system. Telling their daughters, oh, marry a 
lawyer or a doctor. Could she have just what if you're blind? You know? Well you'll you'll hardly see them. If you marry a doctor or or somebody working for a law firm, you won't you won't have that much quality time to spend with your spouse. Mm. Well that's why you know getting out I won't get away from the uh fast, uh, but uh we're law wrapping but they are finding out the reason for more and more uh, workplace affairs are you spend more time with your co workers than you with your spouse. Absolutely. Oh, Absolutely. So the right. enticement, the attraction, whatever you want to call it or term it, is there. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna so that's your, that's more of a family and your family because you're there more. They're there more, exactly. Now we gotta move on, Billy, to the next topic. Sure. Billy, we gotta yeah. move on. Um, what really ticks me off is in America, with American companies, my opinion, built in obsolescence in American products where the the item burns out way before its time. Well, or sometimes. No, all the time. Within a day, a couple of days, or a week of the end of the warranty. It's almost like they know almost in the exact moment when the warranty's up. Now it's time you need a new one. I mean, you know how many, you know how many blender, not blenders, you know how many fans and uh, uh, appliances um, that my sister yeah, bought, right. that my sister yeah. bought, a, a, a coffee percolators, a coffee makers, whatever. How many of them, even radios like boom boxes, how many of them just fail to function early, mm. not too long after owning them? And they, and they were, some of them were even Japanese companies, mm -hmm. but, but for, for the most part. It's not only American companies, it's, it's across the board. They, build, they do build in, things that fail. You gotta speak up, Billy. They, they build things in so they do fail. Right. And uh, look at your, uh, it's not obsolescence per se, but along the same road, it's kind of like your razors. You know, the initial package you buy with the, uh, the razor and the blades, fairly reasonable. But boy, when you have to buy the replacement package of blades, that is where they make their money. Yeah, well, you know, it's they're introducing you to it, so you will like it. Now you've got to buy the blades. Except, except me, because I don't have that problem. Because I buy Wilkinson sword for, uh, blades for the old-fashioned razor, the steel, the stainless well, steel one. Said built in obsolescence, or some of these companies stop making what they introduce. I've had that problem numerous yeah. times. Yeah, I mean numerous times in the past. Uh, I like the certain blade in the company. They stopped making it. They told me to try the other one. They made the replacer. I like that too. They stopped making that as well. I called the company again. I said, why do you do this? They said, sir, we're sorry. We get a lot of complaints about that. What a, look at, look. You make blades of people like that they stop making it. What is the purpose of this? Look, look, look at, look at light bulbs. How, how fast they burn out. Oh, God. So fast. So fast. Yeah. I am plus. And you've got to deal with the defects sometimes. I've gotten home, I don't know, probably you guys do. I put in a brand new bulb within a minute or two, pop, it blows. Mm. It blows, yep, absolutely. Oh, this is just great. Okay. So. All right, Bill, we got to move on to the next topic. Let's go. Yeah, it was absolutely. We got to move on. Uh, now, why with the Roman Catholic Church, which has a mandatory celibacy, produce seems to produce homosexual pedophiles and not straight heterosexual pedophiles. Well, uh, no one, I've had this discussion for decades with people, nobody can really answer me. You're right. Uh, why do all these molestations by these priests? It's always young boys. I can't think of or know of a single case of a young girl being molested by a priest. Uh, number two, it's only the Catholic Church. Yes, that's the only religion that I know of that requires celibacy. Maybe that's why. Uh, it's, it's odd. And I talked about all the dead skeletal remains they found in some of these monasteries. Meaning these priests 
from times way back have had sex with these nuns. Mm -hmm. They killed the and baby. It's strange and it's odd. But again, back to the original why, it's all You know what kind of meat boys. the priest eats on Friday? None. No. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's absolutely true. Now, um, you know what's sad, uh, William Morrow, what's very sad to me and, and very upsetting is also the fact that the veterans who came back from Iraq and Afghanistan, you know, they come, they, they, they're not really well paid to begin with, and if they come back alive with their, their, their body intact, if they're that lucky, they come back to find nothing in return when they come back to the United States. They, there are no jobs, they end up living in a tent, homeless, in, 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 in the woods in Florida. An awful lot, an awful lot, this is just not right. The VA hospitals uh, don't want to take care of them. The best way to put it is you can serve your country, but your country will not serve you. Or will help you protect your backside. This is not what we're built upon. This should not be happening. No, it should not. It's wrong. It's despicable. Uh, it just doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Uh, and, and, and they got to fight. These veterans are worth a groups have to fight to the nail for everything they get. It's almost like you served your your time in the military, what have you. We don't need you anymore. Yeah. Uh, that's wrong. They you exploit. Know, you respect these people. You respect them. You honor them. Hey, need to and stuff. we are disrespecting our veterans. Okay. Yeah. And that is not right. I mean, I mean, a, do right. a a twelve-year-old girl recently uh, died in school from an asthma attack because because the system uh, cut out all the the school nurses and there was no one there to keep her alive until the paramedics uh, arrived. Uh, well, so was it really worth it? What they do? Yeah. Cutting, cutting the school nurses. Are, are, you, are you happy now? Are you proud of yourselves? No? Yeah, it's really sad. Uh, now, now, moving along, uh, we were also talking about how come they don't have, since everybody, every culture, every, every race, people of color also, everybody, even gays, Everybody has their own special holiday with parades, like let's say in New York City. How come we don't have a European pride parade? Why not? Yeah, you gotta speak up, man. You know, and I don't care personally, but I I'm saying this to be kind of semi funny. When is uh white history month? There is no White History Month. But, you know, but then you say that the black, the Hispanics, and the other, they take all the other 11. You know, I'm going to come on, people. Let's respect each other. Let's stop this. No, that, that sounds like, why can't we all get along? No, sometimes you got to be tough to get, get what you want, Bill. Why do they want all this? They want all that, and these people want all this, but if the whites do it, we're the bad guys. Because the whites have no spine. They have no, they have no, they have no balls. They should say. They should say. How come we can't have a European Pride Parade? Well, maybe because the whites are classy enough to say it's not worth arguing. Though. Classy enough. Yeah, but that's how you lose. That's how you lose debates and you lose fights by being too, too. Uh, 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 um, what's the word? Uh, uh, too diplomatic. Well, I think I don't think we're that stupid. I think we know. Nah, what's you what's see, more no, you see. No, you can't. Uh, you can't fight. Let, let some people have their idiots things, but by it's being. Just, it's so unbalanced and unfair. It really is. You gotta get, you gotta get tough and raise your voice. I'm sorry. Gave you the example of the uh, young black person wearing a t-shirt saying "Black Power" and a white guy wore one saying "White Power." The racist. It's a double standard. We live in a world of double standards, and that's not right. Look at the Redskins. What they're going through now. Yeah, I was just gonna mention the fight for their name. Oh, they they want to take they want to they, they, they want to take the traditional Indian off the helmet, the uh, Washington Redskins. <laughs> and the Redskins chose that name to make fun of the American Indian. I don't think so. No. Okay. No, no, no. Respect. They chose a name like that. So where do these people get this from? Mm -hmm. They're just looking for an argument. They have nothing better to do. Redskins. 
people. That really puts your people down. We honor your people. We're not laughing at the Indian races, the different tribal nations or what have you. Nobody is. But you've got to complain. Yeah. Well, anyway, next topic. People are people are very thin-skinned. I mean, uh, people grew up with the Washington Redskins, the Cleveland Indians, with their logo. But where does it end? I mean, uh, 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 everybody gets so offended. There's only one way to make an injury. It will end when people stop paying attention to it. Don't give it credence. Don't publicize it. Yeah. Well, you see, this is the point. The media pay attention to it. Gives. The media gives face time to all the idiots of the world. Don't give them time. The it's American so media. Important. We're not putting you down. Mm -hmm. There is no intention of that. You know? Why? Oh it's God, a, it's I don't understand the things you can do. You can't say boo to anybody anymore, even. You can't Ooh. say boo. Now, e even, even these shows, these Hollywood gossip shows like Entertainment Tonight or TMZ, who gives a shit what these celebrities had for dinner or who they're dating or who they broke oh, up with? It's filling your time. It, it really, it doesn't matter. It, it, it's so unimportant. And sadly, that's what a lot of people know are doing. The Kardashians fucked. You're right. I don't care what huh? you ate for dinner. I don't care you know, what these don't people do. It's like, yeah, you ever see the, the idiotic small talk on Facebook in a, in a chat? People are so boring. They don't know what to talk about. Oh my God, they talk about everyday, mundane, trivial things. They never talk yeah. about what's happening, the serious problems in America or the world. It's always oh, a... Little, little children. That's why I turn off my chat. Daily, you, know, you, you hear about a selective view. Oh. I, I heard a, I heard a chat go on and on and on about the virtues of macadamia nuts. All right. Yeah, yeah this guy right. says all right, but not, not so, to not to waste a whole so fucking afternoon that's talking that's about that's macadamia that's nuts. I can't afford you know, macadamia. I mean, really cool. Neither could I. So? And your friend Esmeralda is a, is a big small talker I also. On chat. In general. In general. I think our priorities are all backwards. I think. Uh, Usually playing the games. Majority just turned to hide from the badness, the uh, badness of the world. Uh, you know, the, Bill. The chat that makes the actual issues. Yeah, they're 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 ostriches. They they got their heads in the sand. They want your right to wear their heads in the sand. We got nothing else going and, on. And you know, I How bet. Are you, what are you eating? What you have for dinner? Oh, so and so's abducted and murdered. Nobody cares about that. Yeah. Oh, what you ate? Oh, you and and you know the same. They, they say. The same small talk people, Bill. The same small talk people are, are the ones that would vote for one politician for president because he's better looking than the other. Just like they did with uh, Ke Kennedy versus Nixon. So what we'll goes back? You've heard me saying to you a number of times. Nick compares. I personally do not believe in the right to vote. I believe you should have to earn the right to vote. Just like you just said. Earn the right to I vote. Don't. When I hear Why? People saying he's. I'm going to vote for him. That is not a prerequisite to vote. Yeah, yeah, I, I realize that, but we don't want, but but we don't want, we don't want the wrong corrupt people to get elected, Billy. Yeah, Jim you know, Crow laws. Jim Crow laws. You're born here, you're a citizen, you have the right to vote. No, I strongly believe there should be an IQ, some sort of a test. IQ. Oh, so that means we should live under fascism? Ballot That's what the conservatives like. Yeah, but isn't that... How somebody looks. Prevent the blacks from voting. Really voting for the Billy, poll tax. You believe better change your whiskey. <laughs> candidate for this country. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But isn't that fascism, Billy? No, no, it's not. not. You're making it actually right. It's almost like saying, you know, they put a dollar sign on genius because of how much money you have. Well, if uh, say a, a poor young child with Down syndrome inherits twenty billion dollars, genius all of a sudden. No. You know, it's, we put, put stamps and titles on everything. Well, the acquisition, the acquisition of money does not guarantee, does not, does not mean that that person has earned or accumulated the money based on intelligence or talent. It just well, means it they got lucky. In the greater percentage of the public eye, it does. 
They'll say, oh, he's brilliant. He's loaded. Yeah. See, they think that way. Well, they say that about, they say that about Bill Gates, for God's sake, that he's one of the crookedest slime balls around. Well, he's, you know, he's a typical businessman. He, he was definitely... I'm glad you said that. Crush heads and what have you. I'm glad but, you uh, said that. But he's done so much as a, uh, for charitable organizations. Oh, well. God. He's a phony. He, 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 he's in bed with Monsanto. He's pushing vaccines. He's... Ay, ay, ay. Uh, you know what? You, 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 uh, you're only reading certain newspapers. You got you gotta... This guy is in bed with Monsanto pushing vaccines on, on, on oh, poor they kids. All, they all have their little underhand. He's charitable. I don't think anybody's 100% wonderful. He they does it for his own money. agenda. They're, they're so-called bedroom deals. Save on taxes. He, he does it to save on taxes, like like uh, 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 labor is tax deductible. The cost of labor, you know, they bitch about unions, but the cost of labor is tax deductible. Well, then again, you hear about Walmart's and what have you. Never knew their where their clothing was being made it was a switch shop. They, they never knew. Countries. How can you not know? This? How could you not know it? Right. Aren't you paying these executives with your organization, and they don't know this? Yeah. Oh, look, well, uh, Kathy Lee Gifford was crying crocodile tears and said she didn't know that that children in in uh, Central America were making her clothes. I I, I, think, I don't believe her. No, it was better for the doubt. Say maybe she didn't, but I truly. I don't give any rich know. person the benefit of the doubt. Your people, you have a lot of people on your so-called staff. Somebody had to know something. Come on. Let's be fair, you're not a, you know? Yes. Now, now, absolutely. Now, the most important thing to learn about when you call here is the fact that more people should be independent, free thinkers with an open mind. Do, do not be afraid to question anything. Question everything. I think that would be a good topic for next week. Maybe we'll make a list of pros and cons and read it all and let me around in their minds for a while. Don't be afraid to question anything and everything. Yes, yes. Well, and also, too, by the same token, James, when you stop questioning, stop living, living, I mean, living and learning. Mm -hmm. Always ask questions until you learn. Yeah, of Why course. Why are you investigating? You wonder. Always ask. Always ask. Yeah. Why did you do this? How are you doing this? How was this done? How, no. So... Now, if you question, if you get, the snot, you get the snot response from some people, what are you writing a book? You know? Well, if you question your college professor, you disagree with one thing, then he has it in for you. Yeah, they don't like that. Don't they don't like that. Don't, you, know. you don't dare do that. Don't challenge me. I know everything because I'm your professor. I'm better than you. Well, yeah, that's how they are. Me. Well, well, teachers well, have. Good again, as always. Yes, yes. Uh, 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 the show went. The, the new format went well. It was more structured this time, uh, William. Well, it's good to discuss things quickly and get them over. Yes, and I, 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 put, a, I put a new Superman on, on the Facebook oh, page. Oh, there you go. There you go. All right. Yeah, it's, James, ni it's nice. Uh, think, yes. Reverend Bill, you have a great one as well. Yes. Bye-bye. Well, let's have a good one. All right, fellas? Yes. All right. Bye-bye. I like his bye-byes. The, uh, bye bye, Miss American. Bye bye, Chevy Tuna Levy. Yes, Levy was dry. <laughs> Good old boy, drinking whiskey and rye. Singing, This'll be the day when I die. This'll be the day when I die. <laughs> Let me tell you something. The one I saw thing he had a birthday the other day. Who? Jim. Jim Croce? No, the singer. Not Jim Croce. What's that? He didn't make that. That's the guy who sang this song. The hell's his name? I thought Jim Croce sang. Jim right? Croce from the, the south side of Chicago or whatever. No, he sang America. Didn't he sing? No. Right? No. He's talking about Bad Bad Leroy Brown. Yeah. Baddest man Vincent, in the whole damn Vincent, town. Vincent. Jim Croce didn't sing Vincent. You know? I don't know. Well, anyway, yeah, name will come to me. Everybody's got a birthday sometime.
One day a year, yes. One day a year. Well, I don't really feel comfortable with birthdays because it's like nobody You're really not cares. To. Who cares? Only Pharaoh and Hoochigo, uh, King, Herod, uh, are uh, to be interested in birthdays. Because they want their asses kissed. And they Jesus was never interested in birthdays. No, it's like, it's like uh, you're paying homage to a person who was born on a certain day. Everybody was born on a certain day. Big deal. It's just another day. Uh, it's not even positive to celebrate birthdays because you're one day, I mean, you're one year older. Who wants to be one year older? You know, it's a wonder that the conservatives have never come up with the idea that if life begins at conception, as they want all to believe, how come we're not all nine months older? Yeah. It's, uh -huh. a, it's a very good point. Thank you. Free independent. And it ain't on top of my head either. Free independent thinker, my friend there. That point. Well, uh, a bubble-headed uh, uh, Barbara uh, Bachman. Barbara? Uh, I'm, no, I'm sorry. Me Michelle. Jay. I'm thinking of Barbara Bono. Yeah. Bubble-headed Barbara... Uh, ba bubble-headed uh, Michelle Bachman. Bubble-headed Bachman made a stupid statement about... Um, recently concerning the fact that is if you don't want us to shove our our religion down your throat then you don't have to live in the United States you can move out which means they support fascism totalitarian totalitarianism fascism is the marriage between corporations and the government I'm sorry totalitarian. clear and simple it has nothing to do with Nazism oh, it has nothing to do with uh, you know totalitarianism is <laughs> dictatorship a dictatorship, like Hugo Chavez, Castro, uh, Sada well, Hugo Saddam Hussein, right? Hugo Stop. Chavez was supposed to be a socialist, not a dictator. Oh, okay, okay, okay. He promised okay, to okay. give land to the poor. Okay, okay, okay. Etc. No, nope. all right. And give free oil to America. Okay. Now, what about this? The old Soviet Union was that totalitarian or it socialist? It became totalitarian. So a corrupted. It started off as socialism. So, so corrupted socialism will turn into a totalitarian... Doesn't have to. You mean you could be corrupted and be socialist too? You can be socialist and not corrupted. Well, Chavez uh, uh, kind of like was self... He was a socialist, but he was very self-centered. And he, and he, I'm sure he, he kept a lot of moolah to himself and didn't disperse it. Yeah, but what does that have to do with being, you know... Well, well everything human. everything has human. everything has to have a a specific scientific definition to it. You know, there's got to be a logical. You know, just like a plant has a botanical Latin name. Well, yeah. well, you got to be something. You know, what was Chavez? He, he he was. It was a communist country that was in reality what? Venezuela was communist. Well, he. He, what, what was it classified as? Well, then Cuba was communist. Who was communist. there before Hugo? Well, then Cuba's communist. He, yes, communist. Uh, Fidel is communist. But and that's why we haven't had any dealings with Fidel for over forty. Well, years. how many how many communist or socialist countries were run the way Karl Marx intended it to None. be run? None. Okay. Would you say that uh, most of them ended up being totalitarian? Yes. Well, that's it. Well. You keep on saying, yeah, but this, no, this, no, oh, that, no, this, this, like Billy, you know, blah, blah, blah. Well, why did a democracy, ours, turn into fascism? Because the Republicans were, are in control of Congress and G.W. Bush helped it. Oh, oh, it happened only recently? No, uh, Reagan, well, Reagan started. Jeez, you know, man. Reagan started the shenanigans, don't have to be. shenanigans when he shifted the tax burden. And this, this is, and I, I want to emphasize this because this is a show in itself. The idiots who are constantly defending the conservative version of capitalism have to think about what it means to have a country totally controlled by conservative capitalists and the only good that comes out of it is for the rich 
I can't think of one positive thing that, that is good for mainstream. Of course, the teabaggers will say, like a bunch of idiots, job creation. My ass, the jobs are outsourced. And the ones that are here, you're lucky if you get a retail or, or, or a fast food restaurant job. They're outsourced. For the last 30 years, those are the jobs that were being created. The office jobs. Not just inbound, not, not just customer service. Hamburger flipping. Not just customer service, not just inbound uh, call centers. Office jobs in general are in the Philippines and they pay these poor souls 50 cents to a dollar an hour. You're a big shot if you're making a dollar an hour over there. But of course, they'll come back and say, well, you know, uh, 50 cents an hour in American money, it, it amounts to a decent amount of uh, Philippine pesos but and all that crap. All of that can be prevented. Justify it. By one word. What? Unions. Regulation. Huh? Regulation. Well, yes. All of that can be stopped in a heartbeat. It prevents corporations from being underhanded and wicked. But the last 30 and, and, years... And, and break the law. We have done the opposite. We have deregulated and allow them to do what they do. That's what Republicans do. They deregulate companies. Is that the is that the first thing on the Republican agenda? No, the first thing supposedly is smaller government. Yes, yeah, smaller government. That's the first. In conjunction with not arranging it that the rich don't pay taxes. That comes next. Right, but but the, but the reason for smaller government is The reason for smaller government is that they view government as the problem, as Mr. Ronald Reagan said. And they view pri the private sector as the solution. God's heaven! The private sector! The private sector uh, fails most of the time. When you pri that, It's not a matter of failing. What is it a matter of? It's a matter of power. Why have we come to a place in our society, democracy supposedly, where we allow corporations this much power over us? Right. Yeah. Right. Well, That's I mean, I point. mean, to the little guy, privatization doesn't get the job done. Well, of course not. Whoever said it did. To the little it's guy. propaganda. But it's about power, just like Michelle uh, Bachman. If you don't like our Get out. interpretation of the Bible get out of, get out of the United States right. um, it's like the old-fashioned America lover to leave it which means if you don't do it our way leave it it's the highway baby hey if the Democrat if, if, if progressives or Democrats take over Washington lock stock and barrel and you Republican elitists don't like to pay your fair share in taxes then leave the United States leave you don't like it don't let the door hit you in the ass on the way. Go to Dubai. Go to Dubai. see if we allow your products into the United States. You could say the same thing to Bachman. You don't, you don't like paying your fair share no, of taxes? What I could say to Bachman is, Leave. Bachman, you claim to get your stuff about religions in the Bible. You see, now you're being an, you're wrong. Now you're being an, a smart, intellectual progressive. You're wrong. They don't understand this kind of logic. Oh, of course they You got to give it back. You got to give them what they give you. No, they you don't, don't like it. it. Get the hell out. They like that. Because then, what do you? What is going on now with the shutdown? Why? Why? Wait, what why is going do, on why with do the so many progressives are so passive and they don't want to fight? You're interpreting it wrong. You. The shutdown occurred because of the Tea Party, correct? Yeah. Now, who's to blame for the shutdown? In my opinion, the, 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 the Republican Congress. But now, they're saying it's Obama's fault. They want to sabotage Obamacare. So this is what they do. And they're if saying... If you come back to Michelle Obama with the same thing that she came for you with, the evil, what do you get? Impasse. Are you, are you gonna are you gonna uh, uh, win by having the gentle diplomatic that's intelligent gentle. approach? That was undermining, and that's how you win that argument. Okay. Undermine her idea. Well, of religion. you know they're gonna bitch and moan if they pay their fair share in taxes. 
I'm not talking about taxes. I'm talking about religion. They don't know the Bible. Well, then how come you just didn't uh, allow that as an argument? Because I feel I'm that I feel that their ears are closed to logic, Fine. And logic and intellect. But what about the people in the audience, who oh. now you have proved to them, prove all things, hold fast that which is true. You have proved to them that Michelle Bachman doesn't know what she's and, talking. And this includes about. the idiots, uh, the lame brains, and the red states. No, these people will not be changed. Well, then what, Stop th trying then why to try, think you can change them. Then why try to educate morons? Why not just... Your why not job just... is to educate the audience, not the morons. The oh, fool okay. will continue to be a fool. All right. Unless he repents of his foolishness. And only a minority will never do that. Okay? That's why only 50% of the Laodiceans, who were once God's people, mm -hmm. will repent in the Great Tribulation. 50%. 50% who knew God's truth at one time, and then threw it away, mm -hmm. will in the Great Tribulation repent. But those holding the right-wing conservative Christian ideology do not hold your breath for any one of them <clears throat> to repent. There's something about the conservative politician that has, that has these people spellbound. There's something about them where they don't question the conservative politician. Because they have these fixations in their mind. They have a part they of. They have a, a fixation in their mind about people who are lazy on welfare. Plus, and they go. They used to say, like the blacks, they sit on the curb and, and, and eat watermelon. Plus, they, they, they go to a cultist church out in the red states. They have cultist ministers that, teach, that don't really know what's in the Bible. And they believe. But they say they do. And they go about preaching it. And they preach it with great emotion. Speaking, they love that. Speaking of great emotion, did you see that that chock full of info banner on Pat Robertson? What the one where Pat Robertson is wearing the Pope hat? Is it, I didn't see. You didn't Facebook. see it. I sent it to you. No, you didn't. Oh, by the way, what is that thing you sent? That is a a, a some kind of link. Oh, that's uh, that's a um, a video of uh, a particular billionaire who um, is capitalizing, uh, exploiting the whole shutdown. Uh, like it's one of those, you know, NWO behind the scenes people, uh -huh. super super elitist that's causing things to happen for a reason. The system being rigged. You mean the Pe puppet strings for? Peter Piper. Peter Piper picked the pick of it, it's a It's a very interesting uh, um, video. It's very, it's very uh, enlightening. Well, I will check it out if I remember. Because I, I try to put something in the title that at least tips you off. There was no title. It was only a link. You know, I'm, ha I'm having a lot. There's a lot of glitches with the new Yahoo uh, mailbox thingy there. They have a new look. They have a new new functions. And I sent something, and somebody else's name appears, and the person says, uh, "Who's this person? I'm not this person." I says, "No, I sent you a personal direct email with your name on it." Who? But there's somebody else's name on it. Wow. You know, I think that these companies, whether it be Yahoo or whether it be other companies like maybe YouTube. Google. Google. I think they're hiring uh, total nincompoops, outsourced techies, outsourced IT people that are that are um, that, that accept low wages, that are incompetent. That's why you have so many glitches. They don't want to pay professionals what they really deserve. Well, of course, they don't want to pay. Period. And they get otherwise. and they get they get an IT person from a third world country to work cheap for them. 
There's your America, uh, uh, tea baggers. There's your American capitalism for you. Hiring incompetence for for chicken feed wages. And they do it because they can. They can. And we can do what? We can stop them. Yeah, and and also the um, there's Americans that get sucked up into the whole the whole um, corporate wealthy corporate elitist thing. Like when Bill Morrow was saying, well. Uh, Bill Gates, you know, he, he's very he's doing good. He's very philanthropical. Yeah. He's involved with a lot of charities. He's doing good, baby. Yeah. So, does that does that mean he's involved with charities for a positive reason or for selfish reasons? Yeah. So. Tax reasons. Tax reasons. Yeah. Sit, let us sink our teeth back into these readings. Uh, <clears throat> I think this is another letter addressing the first one that we le read before about the Austrial Pete. I could not suppress a smile after reading the lengthy yeah. defense of the House Republicans mm -hmm. opposition to Obamacare. Right. right. I will indulge and uh, he names the uh, columnist who wrote the original story. I will indulge Harrison the right to fulminate if she would likewise indulge me the right to purchase my own health insurance, including only those coverages that make sense to me, my family, my company, of my choice, without interference from the federal government. Congratulations are due because the writer is complying with the sole requirement of Obamacare. Interesting. Well, you know, that's, that's one of the things maybe should be fixed. I'm not sure. Yeah. <coughs> but uh, without Obamacare requiring those people to get insurance. Look, let's face the fact. Are they really gonna find people who can't afford Obamacare? No. They're gonna give subsidies. Or to this is like a, a, a prop conservative propaganda. They are going to find the business owner who will not provide you with health insurance and that'll be two thousand dollars. But providing you with health insurance may cost him ten thousand dollars. So he's getting away with murder, isn't he? By just accepting the penalty. So, so yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, if it's cheaper for him to accept the penalty, but if they penalize him over and over and over until he complies, then he will be punished if they do it over and over. So the, this information on the internet about the individual American citizen getting fined for not being able to afford Obamacare. This is a Republican lie. And well, they get away with it. You know, everything is not uh, kosher yet. You know, everything is just coming out. People are confused. So People out. are still confused about yeah. Obamacare. Right. But the point is that um, that uh, thing you sent from your uncle last night, mm -hmm. man, do I suspect that thing. I mean, that is full of, you know, and that is people on Medicare are going to be paying, are going to be forced to do this and that and the other. This is what the hell? So it's chock full of conservative propaganda. Obamacare never started out to cover people on Medicare. No, or no. Or involved it's, it's, with people on Medicare. It's for 30 million people who have no insurance. Medicare, Medicare, or and Medicaid are forms of insurance. They're not insurance per se, but they're yeah, they're they yeah. It's it, it's a provider. It's a healthcare. Well, Obamacare is not a provider. You will be under a private insurance company. Right. Whatever you pick. Yes. Okay. Obamacare is just the law yeah. forcing this stuff. Yeah. To let, into let's say you pick Aetna. Let's say you pick a uh, uh, Blue Cross and Blue Shield. Right. Whatever. And then you get a plan that you can afford. And then you have a plan which 
you can afford if if you have a, if you still have a job. If you're a poor schmuck, then you you go on. You get a subsidy. Right, you get a subsidy, you and you know you got Medicaid, you got charity care at, at some hospitals, and you get a, a subsidy. I guess a subsidy to pay for a subsidy the plan. to buy private insurance. To buy private insurance. So th that is the compromise. Obama I I is still using private insurance companies with Obamacare. Yes. So that's that was one of the, that was one of the big business Alec compromises. That's a compromise right there. And they're Single bitching about Single payer would have been so much easier. The single payer system. Why didn't he stick to his guns about the single payer system? The public option, you know. Yeah, but he Because that's socialism. Uh if it's the best thing for the poor, go for it. But it wasn't the best thing for the private insurance companies. Now it was Screw them. I have See, no that's the attitude nobody has. I don't have any conscience about screwing them. The bribe they takers, screw us, don't they? The bribe takers cannot say screw them. Sure, I just said it. Screw they you. They want to blue them. Blue? You mean yeah, as in blowjob? Blow them, yes. You mean fellatio? Fellatio. Philip, Mr. Philip fellatio? Philip fellatio, yes. Oh, God. And ben Do Mr. Benjamin Speaking Dover? Of Medicaid. Benjamin Dover? Ben Dover? Speaking of Medicaid. 26 states. Yeah. The administration wants to get a lot of people under Medicare payments. Okay. Well, Medicaid does So doesn't... they are going to pay the states for two years in a row the full cost of getting their people, their poor people, yeah. on Medicaid. Well, private physicians... After that... Yeah, go ahead. They will be required to pay only 10% to the program. 26 states have refused this offer for their poor. And most physicians won't accept Medicaid anyway because they don't pay them much money. So then people would have to go to the ER and the, and the uh, hospital clinics anyway. Well, you see, so the, the, if we had doctors on salary like other countries do, you wouldn't have that problem. Yeah, healthcare should not be a, a business, a business for profit. And it should be a right, just like, Education. just like water Education. and air, Mr. Nestle CEO. Water, air, uh, 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 um, a decent retirement. Uh, oh, well, decent. I mean, like, uh, uh, no, in other words, health care, good health care, a good education, just like the basic necessities of life itself are, or should be, or are original, were originally rights, human rights, not privileges. They say driving is a privilege, not a right. They, they might be right about that, but not education, health care, and good clean drinking water and well that's because driving food. came under the state yeah I don't know if that's the right thing no nah, driving is driving is a privilege because man was not originally meant to sit his ass in a motor vehicle and and, and why not he's had donkeys and oxen carts for years that's different that's 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 something same from thing. nature uh, sitting on same thing jackass or a camel or a donkey yeah or a same horse thing. why you need a license show that you can drive maybe that's more all the state can do but it's not it's not a it's not a privilege it's a right yeah well, well of course the most because it's a restraint of trade otherwise of course so the... you use your car to go back and forth to work that's a restraint of trade if you can't drive you can't do that it's unconstitutional just like Alabama and their vibrator law it's unconstitutional yeah a woman cannot buy or, or own a sex toy in Alabama? Buy, read, purchase read, a sex toy? Read the new issue of Censor. And it goes right into the commerce and it, what's, what a state can do and what the government can do as far as commerce is concerned. And Alabama can't make such laws even though yeah. it did. 
just like just like the extremely preposterous preposterous law saying that panhandlers and homeless people right. whatever have to get a permit to to beg right <laughs> these are rights hey why do you think listen uh, government or pot and conservatives why do you think so many uh, single mothers that are forced to go on welfare and food stamps why do you think a lot of these people uh, get off the books part-time jobs and and don't declare the income you know or let's say a girl a girl decides she's forced to uh, prostitution you know, be a go-go dancer and she her tips are off the books right and I mean why do you think they, you could but they would call them welfare cheats how do you expect a woman a single mother to live on the chicken feed they that don't. welfare gives them. They don't. They do not expect you to get rich on welfare. No, not rich. Make ends meet. No, no, no. You shouldn't have to make ends meet. You should become rich so you're not on welfare anymore. Well, in order to do I that, just quoted the Bible in, in order before, to do that, you have to have a, a, a job market that provides jobs for the poor. Number one. Number two. The minimum wage has.